Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to use the Hybe R3 Pro as a USB MQA full decoder. So here we have Tidal of course in the laptop and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect the Hybe R3 to the USB cable over here so that it enters DAC mode and as you can see it entered DAC mode. It goes directly into DAC mode when connected and uh, you must have that setting in the uh, you must have, you must have that mode in the settings first and to do it you're going to go to settings here system settings and from here you're going to select USB mode and make sure you have audio there so that when you connect the USB cable to the high BR3 and you connect it to the PC it enters that mode so here we have the Tidal application in the laptop. We have the Hybe R3, and the next step is that we are going to the um, loudspeaker icon over here, and we are going to make sure that we have the Hybe R3 there checked, so that it will use it as an output. And then we are going to more settings here. Uh, make sure you have the exclusive mode checked. You don't need to select pass-through MQA, but it also works again. The Hybe R3 Pro is capable of decoding a full MQA stream, so you can either select the pass-through option or you cannot. In either way, it will detect the, that the audio is an MQA. So, uh, for example, if I choose this album, which is uh, MQA, Lego Movie soundtrack, yeah, right movie by the way. So if I select play, you are going to see that my high VR Pro will have the MQA icon over there. And right now, because I didn't select the MQA password, you're, you're seeing that the uh, sample rate is 80 to 88.2 kilohertz and 24 uh, bits. Now, if on the other hand, I go to the computer here, and change that option and I'm going to select MQA pass-through you're going to see that the audio stream is 44.1 for this album and it also shows the MQA icon meaning that it is actually decoding the MQA stream and acting as a full decoder on the other way it was acting as a renderer in which it will detect the MQA core signal and perform the second and third unfold. But in this case, it is actually decoding the full MQA stream. So basically, that's how you will use the high R3 Pro as a USB full decoder, MQA full decoder. And it's a simple step, simple steps to do. And yeah, basically that covers everything I wanted to show you in this video. It's really easy to do. And when you're using it as a USB MQA full decoder, you can also select a uh, Bluetooth output here on the Hybrid Trip and it will send the first unfold to the Bluetooth device. Of course, the Bluetooth device will not be able to fully utilize the MQA stream, but since MQA doubles the sample rate, for example, in this case it's 88.2 kilohertz, it will send that stream directly to the Bluetooth headset. Um, if I say, um, select the pass-through option, the high VR3 will perform the first unfold and then if I use the LDAC codec or the EOIT codec which is from high only on, the, on high devices, then the other device will decode the audio as an 88.2 kHz audio stream uh, because the high VR3 is performing the first unfold. So yeah, basically that covers everything I wanted to show you in this video. And I'm going to conclude this video. That, that is the Hybe R3 Pro. This is the title application. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.